State. Okay, folks, I want to bring you early morning afternoon update, I guess, is what it is. If you stay up all night, like some of us do, <laughs> you're looking forward to the weekend. Anyway, we've had a sharply lower low in stocks. They've been fighting back. Hit a major number down there in the S&P at 39.40. And if we close above 39.80, folks, it's going to be pretty tough to be uh, – uh, negative, I would guess. I'm going to try to post a chart up here if I can, so just bear with me a second and we'll take a quick look at one if we can. I just want to give you the the price here of that Dow Jones or the E mini SP, the fact that we hit that exact low down here. Just get it up here, Larry. Here you go. Hold on just a second, and there's what we have going on right now. Okay. Anyway, there's what the pattern we're looking at. We had the big ABCD here a few days ago, and uh, this is, of course, a uh, hourly chart, uh, excuse me, four-hour chart. You can see over the last couple of days we've come down, and we hit this number uh, right here today on the bottom at 39.40. The low is 39.37, and so now we're up 40 handles from that. So closing above that would be a positive sign. Given the fact that we have more news, you know, Deutsche Bank came out. It was down 12 or 13% at one time. I have no idea where it is now, but there's still trouble in the banking section. The question is, is if it's going to be real and if they're going to tell us the truth. Usually they tell us partial truths. Uh, we had gold up uh, substantially earlier. It was up about 10 or $15. It's now sold off a little bit. Treasury bonds are still up on the day. Treasury notes are still up on the day. And I think those are the main things. The U.S. dollar has strengthened just a little bit. We had a sell-offs in the British pound and the euro. So those are a few of the things that we have going. The other thing is crude oil still down on the day. Probably not for long, but we did get down to that 67 level and we rallied uh, all the way up to 69.80, a $2,000 rally uh, off that bottom and it uh, was a pretty substantial one at that. So we're going to keep uh, keep our eyes on that one for the next few days because uh, with oil down there uh, hitting below uh, 64, hitting $64 a barrel, we're now $5 a barrel off of that level. And if it's going to be any good, it's going to close above 70, which I certainly think that it might. But uh, we don't have a position in that. So that's mainly what we're looking at today. So um, our guest today coming up on 24-7, we're going to have Rich Anderson on at the first break. And then we're going to have none other than Jim Bartolioni on the second break. So we'll be back after this break. Thanks. 